Hello, Ernie again here. Um, I'm doing this wiring diagram again because some of them um, I receive loads of messages. They keep on asking uh, about uh, can you put a solenoid valve, uh, the post timer, fan delay, overload protector. So I'm doing this so that you can understand very well. Okay, I know uh, most of you, you need some help at this moment. So, I'm going to explain the, the current uh, flow. Okay. Um, as you know, if you are a, a technician, um, even if you, you have loads of uh, uh, comes to your mind about rewiring, rewiring, the system okay so I and this is my uh, this wiring uh, I have a second option aside from this wiring but the same procedure okay so I'm gonna explain now so this is the power supply okay this is a three-piece connection this is the motor compressor this is the magnetic contactor. Uh, normally open, normally closed coil. And then the fan condenser fan motor. And then the same in the other side. There's a magnetic contactor again. And then the heater, evaporator heater. And the pilot light. Okay. So I put some I put pilot light so that uh, even if you are not inside the evaporator, uh, you will know that the evaporate the heater is working. And I put some overload protector. The overload protector you can connect that into the you know as you can see uh, there is a norm, normally closed normally open and the common. So. You need to put it in the normally open. And then, there is the evaporator fan motor. Or some of them are three fans. You can connect that into the series connection. I put two only because it's too plenty of fan motor if I will drawing here. So, this is only a series connection. So, anyway... That is the evaporator fan motor. This is the switch, the thermostat, the low pressure side, high pressure side, the solenoid valve. Okay, the depress timer. And then the fan delay. Okay, defrost fan delay. Now, anyway, I'm going to explain the the current situation at the moment so this is line one the line one will go to the switch here once you turn that on the current will flow from thermostat going to low pressure switch high pressure switch going to the depress timer in the coil okay once the coil supplied the depress timer is working so the contact now will become the normally open will become normally closed so the current will flow here going to the coil this is line one and then the other one is line two so the magnetic contactor is working at this moment the condenser fan motor is working and the compressor is working okay now and also the fan evaporator fan motor is working everything is working now at, at this moment so this is the what happened what in the if the magnetic contactor is working the, what happened is the normally open will become normally closed and then the, and then the normally closed will become normally open so this is line one the current will flow here 
going to evaporator fan motor. That is line 1. And this is line 2. The other one is line 2. Because of the fan delay. Right. This is the fan delay. This is line 2. Now check your defrost time. 1, 2, 3, 4, and an N, and an X. Okay. Now, this wiring is applied to walk-in chiller. But do not put any, uh, like, uh, if you add up another thing, you, I don't know, you can add up another control if you want to. Because, um, even if work in chiller, there is a time, there is a, there is a evaporator heater. Okay. Now, the solenoid valve here. Some of you are asking, where is the solenoid valve? Here, this is the connection of the solenoid valve. Connect, connected to the thermostat. Okay. And then the other one, the other line is in the, in the magnetic contactor of the motor. Once the compressor is off, the solenoid valve is closed. Okay. Once the thermostat reached its temperature, the solenoid valve is closed as well. Okay. So that is uh, the so that is the current flow now. The current here, line 1, go from here, go directly here. And then this is line 2, line 1, and line 2. The control here, the current will flow here, going to the coil. And then coil is working. So everything is working. Now, when, when the timer... Um, when you set the timer, and the timer is already uh, the time for defrosting, so this normally open will become normally closed, and this one will become um, normally open. So this this end will become normally closed, and this one will become normally open. Okay, in the defrost setting, so this the 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 current will flow here, going to the coil. That is line one. The other one is line 2. Oh, I forgot. Just wait. I forgot to put the line 2 here. There. So that is line 2. And this is line 1. So the heater is working. The pilot light is working. The overload protector is working. So that is... Now, next time we're gonna do the troubleshooting, okay? Now, that is the actual situation at the moment. But at the moment, I will not talk about the, the troubleshooting. I'm talking about the schematic diagram of the walk-in chiller or freezer. Now, this is my own wiring. This is my personal wiring diagram. I'm going to share this to you because some of you, you need, have, you need help. Okay, this is my personal. So, please do not copy. If you need, if you like, just uh, please subscribe on my channel. And thank you and God bless you. Just check the, the, I'm gonna video it again. Thank you so much.